Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna to be installing this anodized fuel rail. This is from LCE Performance. I'm gonna be doing some improvements under the hood here and I wanted to start with this because this is gonna be covered up by the intake plenum once this is installed. So I wanna show you how to install this piece. I didn't really see any videos about this. It's really cool. Uh, here's your hole for your injector. This is your main fuel feed line right here. And here is where your regulator goes, which is that this is your main fuel feed here the cool thing about this is that your feed line has this fuel damper right here which is like acts in conjunction with your fuel regulator but you don't need this um, so what this does is you can run this screw that they sell as well and this screws into here you use some fuel safe teflon tape screws into there and then it comes out as a 6an fitting so then i can take a 45 degree angle 6an fitting like this and kind of mock it up and you can see that this will run underneath the uh, intake manifold there and I could run my fuel line with 6AN versus trying to find a factory fuel line. And this also looks cooler, which is a bonus too. So I'm gonna show you how to take your fuel rail off and install this. So my fuel filter and everything, I already disconnected. It's just sitting over here. I just mocked up this banjo bolt back on so I could show you the process. Um, so you're gonna take a 10 millimeter bolt. Let me zoom in a little bit here. You're gonna take a 10 millimeter bolt, unscrew this. So this is the fastener that holds this um, clamp that is attached to the banjo bolt here, which is your main fuel feed line. So I'm gonna disconnect this. All right, next you're gonna take your fuel dampener off. When you turn this, you wanna turn it towards the manifold. I thought for some reason it was, it's, it messed with my mind a little bit. I thought it was like this way, but no, you wanna turn it that way towards the manifold. If I can show you here. Just like that, and there we go. So that is all done. So all of this stuff, you no longer have any need for. Don't need the fuel filter because I'm gonna be running a inline fuel filter with the 6AN line. So now let's get this rail off. Okay, I disconnected the return line. I was gonna take this off, but this is hitting my EGR. So I'm just gonna take the whole rail off and then disconnect this afterwards. All right, I'm gonna be using a 12 millimeter to break these off. There we go. Get them loosened. Okay. And now they're finger loose. Just pull these out. This fuel rail should be free to come out. And the injectors will probably come with it. Always forget something. Forgot to disconnect all the uh, injector harnesses. Okay, all the injector harnesses are off. Now the fuel rail should come out. Now mine's crusty, of course, but I'm gonna and I'm gonna rebuild these injectors or just order new ones. And I'm going to uh, get new injector clips as well. A few of them broke. But I'm still gonna slap these in the anodized fuel rail and just mock it up so you can see what it looks like. All right, now your injectors will just pull out of here. All right, and then same way those came out, we're gonna slip these back in. I'm not gonna hook up the harnesses for now. I'm just gonna slip the injectors in to mock it up so you can see what it's gonna look like. All right, and I'm going to um, screw in the uh, pressure regulator before it goes on. You saw that the EGR tube gets in the way. I'm s starting to understand why people hate it. So I'm gonna screw this in, if I can get it in. There we go. All right, the injectors are in. You just plug them in. And I'm gonna slip this back in. Okay, so now that that's on, we take our two 12 millimeter bolts, just slip them back into the factory location. It screws right back in. And they even include the little hole if you want to keep your factory banjo bolt fuel line set up. This is the, the screw that screws into there that holds that bracket down that you saw me take off earlier, the little 10 millimeter bolt. And then if you look here, my 6AN line is like perfect. This is just the 6AN adapter they have with a 45 degree 6AN line coming off of here or 6AN fitting. And then if I swivel it right to left, I can get a lot of clearance where I can get above these coolant lines and I can go under the manifold. So I got plenty of clearance there to get under there, which is awesome. Fuel pressure regulators in, make sure you put this in the um, fuel rail before you install it. Otherwise this is gonna get in way of your EGR tube or you could just delete your EGR tube, which I'm heavily leaning towards at this point. It's getting annoying already. All right, as you can see, it's installed. This is what it looks like, final product. Your, your plenum obviously is gonna go over it, so you won't really see it, but this does add the convenience factor of the 6AN line right here, which is what I was going after. So this does it for me. This is great. It fits right in. There's no weird fitment issues. There's no trimming needed. It just fit right in. So this is, this is great. I'll link this down below. Um, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you with any help I can. Um, but yeah, LC Engineering makes a great product here. Uh, it's like $60 maybe or $50. It's pretty affordable. 
You have to buy the little $5 um, AN fitting that goes into this thread. Um, but if you have just like some 6AN fittings laying around, you don't have to buy any of that. I happen to have 6AN fittings laying around and some fittings that I can just make my own line with versus trying to find a factory fuel line, which is in, near impossible at this point. So that's it, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.